What's up guys, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, everybody. Hey, this is Mattis Grosko, Slovak car guy from Lexus of North Hills. So I wanted to do today a little test drive video with you guys, show you around about the RX so we can experience how quiet it is. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about it, what packages the Lexus RX does come with and that kind of goes across the entire line pretty much. And then um, tell you a little bit more about the safety packages like the Lexus Safety System Plus, etc. So let's take it for a ride and let's see what you guys think so we'll back it out of parking spot the backup camera is standard also this car does have parking sensors and also it has imminent braking so if you stop start backing up too fast for example and there's a pole behind you the car will stop you from hitting the pole so on the on the drive you will you will hear how quiet this vehicle is it is powered by a v6 3.5 liter one of the most reliable engines that lexus has ever produced i have seen over 300,000 miles on the plenty of vehicles in our service and it runs very smoothly very quietly and produces the 295 horsepower which is plenty enough for this vehicle so on the test drive we're driving on a dry pavement today, beautiful day, about 90 degrees outside. Um, the car I just started, and uh, the car is powered also with a eight-speed transmission. So, first thing first, safety system. So, all the standard safety systems that are inside of the car are absolutely fantastic. So, first I'll start with the adaptive radar cruise control. Let's say you use cruise control and you're going on a highway. This car has a radar inside of a front Lexus symbol that is scanning for the cars in front of you. So if you have a cruise control set at 60 miles per hour and somebody cuts in front of you and he goes, let's say, 50 miles per hour, this car will adapt to the speed of the car in front. Uh, it will hold certain length between you and the car in front of you. Um, all depends on uh, whatever you set it on, one, two, or three car lengths. Um, it's pretty sensitive. Also, this car does have have a full speed all speed radar cruise control so you can use it in the slower speeds as well it doesn't have to be over 40 miles per hour you can use it even over 25 miles per hour let's say you are in the traffic the car will stop and when the traffic starts moving the car will move forward and stop again and keep the gap between you and the car in front of you also this car is paired up with a pre-collision system. So the pre-collision system is combined with a radar in front of you and let's say if you're st starting to go too fast on the car and this vehicle might think that you're going to hit the car, it comes in two stages. So first stage is going to pre-tension your seat belts and then it's going to prepare itself for a customer or the, or the driver stepping actually on the brake. A lot of car accidents don't happen because people didn't apply the brake, it's just because they didn't apply enough force. So this car is going to use the brake assist system, which is going to pull full, full force on all the brakes to try to prevent the, you know, the accident or lessen the impact. Now the stage two is if this car in last milliseconds realizes the driver is not really paying attention, this car will try to stop the car and prevent the accident. I tell people it might not prevent the accident, but it might, it will lessen the impact and possibly save your life. Another safety system that is comes with the car standard is the lane keep assist. So lane keep assist has a special camera on top by the rear view mirror that scans the lines on the road and it's going to vibrate your steering wheel and if the car feels like you're not responding it's going to slowly nudge you back in the lane it's really nice really nice safety feature if you're driving on the car and let's say you're tired you're not really paying attention it will try to keep you between the lanes it is not self-driving mode but it's a great assistance for driving and you know give you the little nudge that hey listen you're going over the lane or it will beep as well you have that option as well Another one, intelligent high beams. So intelligent high beams, what it is, it's going to put your high beams at dark automatically on. If it senses a pedestrian, you know, bicycle or a car coming up, this car will turn off the high beams and they'll automatically come on. One feature you have to have on for that to work, you have to have your auto headlights set up as well. So that comes with the safety system plus um, so you we have pre-collision we have the adaptive cruise we have the intelligent high beams and we have the lane keep assist now this car is the premium 
model with the navigation and also with the blind spot monitor system. So the blind spot monitor system is one safety system that is not standard that you will be charged for, but most of the cars will have it. And um, that will come, it's going to be a little two cars inside of your both mirrors and it will signal if there is something in your blind spot and you should not merge or you should not get in the other lane. That comes with a combination of the rear cross traffic alert. So if you're backing out of a parking spot and then there is something coming in the alleyway, this car will warn you because it has a special sensors and radar in the back bumper that is gonna scan to the line and make sure you don't go hit anything and warn you about anything coming up your way. So all those safety systems combined make this car incredibly safe. You know, it, you know, combining with the high steel, you know, very heavy duty steel used inside of the construction of this vehicle, heavy insulation, and also in the RX, you're going to be sitting a little bit more up high. So it is overall safer vehicle. Airbags all around, so your kids and you will be safe as well. Uh, the car is provided with regular gas, so you don't have to put any premium gas inside of it and it's going to have the premium sound system inside of it. So you have the base and then your premium with navigation system is going to have better sound system and then you can get also Mark and Levinson if you get to luxury or the F Sport model. The F Sport model is pretty much all aesthetics. It's going to change your front grille, it's going to give you different wheels, it's going to give you dark headliner inside of it, different steering wheel, you know, you're going to have the aluminum pedals and also you're going to have Sport S Plus mode which is going to give you a little bit tighter suspension when you drive. Um, this car right here is not an F Sport, so it's provided with Eco, Normal, and Sport mode, which is going to change the way transmission shifts and how much power it's, you know, pushing to the rear wheels. Like if you put the car in Sport mode, it's going to push a little bit more power into the rear wheels. Uh, you can experience right now. We have been driving on the road. We have been driving on the side roads, and it's very smooth. It's very quiet. I'm the this thing inside of the car telling you everything about it but um, I'm gonna give you a few seconds so you can hear how quiet this car is and I'll come back also right now we are actually driving on the road that just had the fresh chips and oil put down on it so it's pretty impressive how quiet this car is at the moment gonna stop sign here so this car does have heated and cooled seats it does have heated steering wheel as well the seats are very soft very comfortable the premium package will give you the let true real leather ins insert seatings and then side is gonna be our new lux synthetic leather a lot of power right now we are cruising at about 60 miles per hour very comfortable very quiet ride you know this is why this car is the top luxury SUV in the United States sold um, you know I saw BMW Porsche Audi before and um, this just has this unique quiet ride and what is really really intriguing about these Lexus vehicles is that I drove ones with 200,000 miles on them and they still drive as quiet as this so it's it's pretty pretty incredible there is also on the luxury model you have you can get the panoramic roof and also a heads-up display in the front if somebody wants it really tricked out you know the the middle middle range like the premium and navigation that most people buy you're gonna be looking MSRP between 55 to 53 somewhere in that area if you're gonna get into like a F Sport you're gonna be looking at high 50s like 59 to 60 and if you're gonna get to a luxury model you're going to be looking at around 61 now this car does come in a hybrid version as well which is going to use a premium fuel but it's going to use electric motors combined with a gas motor to power the car and save you more gas if you drive city mileage that's going to be a perfect car for you because mainly it gives you the extra mileage in city so you know we are driving this car very comfortably automatic headlights automatic high beams you know uh, rain sensing windshield wipers all the safety systems on with the quietness enough power it's a full-time all-wheel drive vehicle so it's no it's a tank you know you can't really beat it so i really hope you like this video and you know you like this test drive i'm going to make more cars so you can learn with me and um i can teach you certain things from my nine year experience in car business but i i appreciate you guys spending time with me looking at my youtube video please hit subscribe hit the like button there's gonna be more coming slovak car guy from Lexus of North Hills, Mattis Grosko. I'm here to help any way I can. Thank you so much. You have a beautiful summer, beautiful day, and enjoy.
Thank you guys, Slovak Art Guy.